Hello, today we're gonna learn how to create array of buttons. Normally AV Snap starts in the design mode and if we need to switch to the control mode we double click on the screen or press shortcut P and uh, in the dialog we select the pixel mode. As you can see there is 640 by 480, I'm gonna select that and now we're in pixel mode. In pixel mode the screen is displayed at 100% so you can zoom out but if you press shortcut F, as in Frank, it will uh, zoom in at uh, 100%. So first we're going to select an object which is a button on the left hand side and we just draw it out. Pressing escape removes the uh, tool and now your button is selected. Double click on the button and now you can put the, uh, the text on the button. So in this case I'm going to put input 1. Once you see the input one here, you can also adjust the size of the text by zooming in, zooming out on the text size. To get the property of the button, press shortcut B. And in the properties, we're going to set up a couple of things. Number one, we're going to make it as a toggle button because later on we're going to have a group of buttons. And then we're going to set exclusive mode. Only one button will be turned on at any given time. And also we're going to call the button input, or you can call it anything else, and we're going to set the array index to 1. That means this is the first button out of the many buttons we're going to build. Pressing apply, and we're ready to go. Now notice when I put my mouse cursor over the button, it tells me that it's a button 1, and it also tells me what happens when you click on this button, which, which subroutine it's going to go to. So in this case, on click will go to button 1, click. And on mouse down, it's going to go to button 1, down. So let's adjust one more thing, pressing a shortcut B. What we're going to do is to say, I want to name all the triggers the same as input. So trigger name, and then just say OK. And you can see now all the trigger names here, input, click, input, double click and so forth are adjusted. Apply this setting and say OK. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that you, our auto increment text numbers uh, is, are selected. If this is done, then any button that has the text on the back of it, it's automatically going to increment the text. So in our case, let's make it a little bit smaller and I want to create six buttons. So I'm going to go copy and paste and you can see I just created a second button. Now notice that this number incremented automatically because there is a tool, uh, the selection, which I selected for automatic incrementation. Now also notice I can use a clone mode. In the clone mode, I can just select these two buttons and just drag them out. And I'll have automatically created two more buttons. Drag out again, and I have six more buttons. Now in our case, uh, the buttons are a little bit too big to fit on the screen, so we're going to select all of them, set the font to 12 and then adjust the width to 50 maybe to 70 and now we can align all of them so we're going to select everything together and we're going to align them so that uh, 